asked my parents were excited. I promised that I would introduce you to my parents. They're immigrants from war-torn Germany. They grew up in unbelievable poverty. I mean, imagine poverty where there's no buildings, no streets. Some people have to eat grass because there's no food. When my parents got married, they got married in a backyard. The flowers came from the forest. That's how poor they were. And my mom's wedding dress was made by the neighbors, the ladies in the neighborhood. And do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? No, I'm serious. Do you know what this is? I found it outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's how poor mom and dad were. A typical wedding gift might come in a box that looks like this. It's a Tiffany's gift box. Any of you lucky to get these in your wedding? <laughs> Hope they weren't empty. Well, this is what mom and dad got for their wedding gift. All of them. This is it. They got a dish towel. That's it. Right? You were complaining about getting that toaster, right? They got a dish towel. This is how impoverished they were. This is how poor their community was. But they had an aspiration. They loved each other. And they said, you know what? If we're going to build a family together, we should do it in the United States. We should go seek out opportunities. And we should go to the United States. So they did. And they came here and they built a life. And mom's aspiration when she got here was to get a job. And she had a very complex and very intricate job search strategy. This is it. She went to a building that looked like a business. And she walked in and she said to someone who looked like they worked there, you got job? You got job? You got job? She doesn't speak English. Does she have any skills? No. Do they have any money? No. Do they have any education? No. She's got nothing. But you know what? She went from building to building and said, you got job, you got job, until she found a job. And how was she able to be that persistent and that motivated and that dedicated? You got job. That's, that's impossible. It was her aspiration. And it was not the money, it was not the job, it was not the career, it was her value system. Because that job did not represent a job, it represented family. It re represented survival, food for the family. And because it was directly connected to what was most critical in her value system, you got job, the embarrassment, the persistence, no, nothing stood in her way. And she went out into the world and she shared it. That's exactly what sharing is, right? And if you missed it, effective networking, right? Mom knew three words and she was effectively networking. She went out into the universe and she told the universe, I want a job. And did the universe give her a job? She got a job. You guys want to hear what job she got? She became the CEO of IBM. <laughs> she got a job at Campbell's Soup. Her job was peeling tomatoes to make tomato soup. That was it. Thousands of tomatoes, hot tomatoes. And is this story exciting? Yeah, it's exciting. Holy cow, I'm sharing it with you 40 years after it happened as a metaphor for achieving excellence. That's exciting. She implemented 
that think, share, and excite. She naturally implemented the aspirations message to achieve what she wanted in life. And she was able to do it. She was able to maintain that motivation. And she was able to maintain that focus because it was consistent with her love of family. And I hope you see that the message is powerful because it just automatically sucks away your excuses. You see that? Well, Mark, if that doesn't work for me, I don't have good communication skills. Well, 